Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Let's see if we can find out where Dagger is. Was there a Moogle back then? I thought I saw some. Oh, yeah, there is one. Hey. Um, okay. Uh, I, I'm assuming you're talking about Mog, but they didn't come out of the same mother, did they? That That's kind of freaky. How did that even happen, anyway? I think they explain a little more about that later, but, uh, well, I don't want to spoil it, so. Huh? Oh. There's a little icon here. Well, I don't know if you can hear it, viewers. I can barely hear it myself, but it's, uh, well, Dagger Song, so. Huh. How'd she get all the way down there? Did she fall? Yeah, I'm drowning to my death, so I just figured, you know, I'd just start singing! <laughs> no. No. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's her down here. Yeah, it's our song! You should have sung it for the wedding! Or for the, uh... What's the thing that happens after the wedding? <laughs> the betrothed. How about the sticky bandits? No. No. No, I mean, after the wedding, uh, not the uh, honeymoon, but like... What, the reception? Is that what it's called? Or whatever happens after the wedding? I don't know. I don't know anything about weddings. Sorry. Yeah, it's... Well, you made a good effort there, Dagger. Well, did what I could. Couldn't you have just said, Hey, I want to take a vacation. Can I see Uncle Sid? You could have done that. Or, yeah. Yeah, we all kind of pitched in. The only thing I really know about weddings is uh, you can do it drive through That seems kind of weird. Heck, you can do it on World of Warcraft nowadays. Holy cow. I don't think so. And I'm about as much of a computer geek as you get, but no, nah, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Well, you're the, uh, well, you are a princess, I suppose, but y you don't have any authority. What authority does a princess have anyway? I mean, in, re in real life, like back in the day, you know? I mean, obviously, I mean, you can't, uh, what is it? I mean, you couldn't, like, enact laws or anything like that, but, you know, if anyone pissed you off, you know, I mean, you know, you could have them, I don't know, uh, shackled or something or put in jail for a day or so or something. I don't know. Oh, Ibsen, huh? Have we heard that name before? I forget. Or uh, Maybe I'm thinking of something uh, later in the game. But I thought we heard it like once on disc one or something. Didn't Freya say something about that? Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Oh, well, there we go. I like this part. Whenever, like, uh, Zidane is trying to explain something or relate something to Dagger there, he has, like, a little backstory or something to uh, tell her about that. I like that. It's a nice touch. So where was his home? Well, why not? I'm trying to think of a Who's Line reference I could make, but, eh, whatever. Oh, You're getting deep again, Zidane. Uh-oh. The boat's sailing away. Virgin alarm! Virgin alarm! No. No. It's programmed to go off before you do, Zidane. Oh. Well, it's not exactly the most romantic ship around, but uh, you take what you can get. What's... Huh? Song? What song? Now, I don't know if you can hear it, viewers, again, because it's so low. Maybe I can increase the volume in the editing process. I don't know, but... Take a wild guess who's singing that song. Take a wild guess why Dagger knows that song, too. Take a wild guess why, why Dagger can summon. Why this village seems so familiar. 
What's going on? Oh yeah, it's the sun and everything. What, what's going on? Yeah, looks pretty nice there. Whoa! What was that? What is that eye in the sky there? Whoa. Some natural disaster. Now that's a suck zone. Yeah, remember this from the intro there? Yeah, that was, uh, well, Dagger having that flashback there, but... Oh! So that's what that intro was. Was that a, another flashback? Or Dagger? What happened? You okay? What's going on? Oh, maybe she was just hallucinating there. Oh, where is he sleeping? Don't answer that, viewers. He's not sleeping in your dress, is he? Well, what was with all that those flashbacks there, Dagger? I have the same childhood repressed memories that everyone has. Oh, yeah, I suppose not. Oh, okay. Do I have to say it, viewers? Six! What happened to seven? I, I mean, uh, until you turned six. Yeah, yeah, if you haven't figured it out, she was born here. What, you think Bron actually gave birth to a beauty like her? <laughs> no, no. Oh. So that was that disaster that Aiko was talking about. It's just like the end of Final Fantasy VII. Or, well, yeah, that was in the ending, wasn't it? With all those little tornadoes and everything, or whatever that was. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's why she can summon, why Aiko can summon, and everything like that. It's a pretty long way to go to Alexandria, but, well, I suppose you take what you can get. Well, she was on a boat! Bobby, why did you get to be a princess? <laughs> well, apparently she's not as horny as you are, Aiko. Oh, yeah, maybe he knows. Hmm. Oh, nuts. Oh, I suppose so. Well, what do you mean? Brown's still alive. Oh, sure, she pretty much raped her for her summons, but uh, other than that... Oh, sorry, I went through that a little too quickly. Uh, she said uh, she used to pray here at the uh, Eidolon Wall every day, so I guess that's what summoners do. It's like I have an older sister now. Aww. Reminds me of when they said something like that uh, in Final Fantasy IV DS. And that one scene. Or except they said brother, but yeah. That scene always gets me a little choked up. I'll be honest with you, viewers. This game, not so much. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I love Final Fantasy IX, don't get me wrong, but not so much on the emotional side. More so on, uh, you know, getting excited and everything like that, you know? What did you come here for? Oh, right, we gotta kill Kuja. I suppose we could. I mean, we've stopped his ability to make all those black mages, but... Okay, sounds like a plan. That makes you feel better. Wow, look at all those summons. Is that Zeromus there in the lower right? I kind of missed that, but, uh, huh. Some of them look familiar. Some of them, not so much. Well, yeah, we do that, and then you get to be a princess again. And, uh, well, kill your mom, that too. Or, well, the queen, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. You don't even have to have facial features or expressions for Vivi, and you can just see the emotion in his face. I love that. It takes so much skill to do. Oh. 
Oh, where are you guys going? Oh, of course not. Well, I'll see what I can do for you guys. Well, just remember to pray so that way, you know, the summons will come when I ask. Or, well, what's going on? Hey, it's that guy again. You had enough or you're thirsty for more? Uh, okay. So, I, I let you go. Are you really that, uh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry, I'm unhappy that we let him live. Oh. Well, okay, then go fight some other bounties. Or join our party! More party members! Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. More party members that have no reason to actually really be with us, but we don't have a monk yet, so... Yeah, you can be our bounty hunter now. What's going on? Uh, okay, I suppose that's a good enough reason. What is his name? Hmm, Red. Amaranth. Yeah, that's his name, so... I don't know what that means, but, well, there you go. Just, uh, don't come with us whenever we go to Trina there, so. All right! Yeah, he's the guy who the, uh, Poison Knuckles go to, so now we can, uh, rearrange our party. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, but I do want to take a moment to, uh, rearrange my, uh, equipment real quick. And, uh, well, I'll be right back then. If the screen transition will ever happen. There we go. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, just a couple things I want to go over for my uh, final preparations here. Uh, if you re-enter the village and talk to Morrison... Oh, yeah, I suppose so. But uh, yeah, you can switch your party members now. You can form whatever party you want. The party that I've got on the left there is the one that I want to start out with. So we're going to start with that. Uh, just take a quick look at Amaranth here. Yeah, he's got claws there. He can learn counter. Uh, we also have the Poison Knuckles that I stole from him, but I want to learn some weaker, or some abilities from the weaker equipment first. So, by the time it actually matters, I'll have stronger equipment equipped. Um, I could use Undead Killer, but we're going to get it from Ritual Hat anyway. Learning Insomniac is pretty important right now. Uh, wrist, might as well. Got nothing better to work on there. We need the Brigandine to learn Ability Up, obviously. Uh, that's top priority. Level Up. Also top priority for him. Uh, nothing else too special. Uh, just make sure you got Insomniac and uh, Loudmouth equipped for everyone there. Uh, whatever other abilities you want. It doesn't particularly matter. Uh, like I said, I want Zidane working on the running shoes. Iko working on the reflect ring. But, you know, nothing too... Uh, I mean, she's not going to finish it off. So nothing too special there. But, yeah, I mean, at least get, get it going there. So... Uh, let's see, a couple other things you may want to take care of on Disc 2. If you haven't met up with the uh, Ragtime Mouse six times uh, by now, this would be a good time to do it. You can meet up with him in the forest there, just like I showed you on Disc 1. There's also another friendly creature around the region by the Ifa tree. But again, I want to save that for later for when I have a lot more stuff to be working on. So nothing that I can do right now with that. So I've got my setup listed in the video description for you guys. And then I'll meet you at the Aoife tree. Someone tell the fat lady she's on in five. Next time on the two-part Disc 2 finale of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.